Hi everyone, this is Beth Malaison, your SQA president. And on behalf of the board, I wanted to reach out to the SQA community to share some updates. We certainly know that these past few weeks have brought about challenges and uncertainty. SQA is at hard at work to provide a variety of timely resources, guidance and opportunities to connect and network with your peers during this time. Instead of giving my presidential address, which admittedly I only figured out today was on April Fool's Day, I'd like to review the resources and guidance that SQA will be offering in the coming weeks and months, as well as share with you some tools that are already available. In order to bring you the latest news, SQA is launching a series of weekly Zoom meetings to discuss hot topics in QA during the pandemic. The working title for these meetings is the SQA Connect Lounge. The SQA Education Committee and specialty sections are collaborating to prepare these weekly meetings to feature a panel of experts discussing various topics relevant to the changes in the way we work during this time. The format will be more interactive than a typical SQA webinar with the opportunity for live questions and discussion. Think of these like a really large specialty section meeting, but with focused topics like remote auditing, clinical trials during this time, and the challenges that they face, e-signatures, and even more. The meetings are tentatively scheduled to start Friday, April 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So watch out for more information on those. Another timely resource is a rapid communication on e-signatures that our colleagues in CVIC will be issuing later this week. Additionally, SQA is working to put together a web page with pertinent educational offerings and other resources like regulations and guidances that are being published to help inform us in how we're supposed to work and ensure compliance in this environment. The board has approved making SQA recordings more widely available to serve the QA community. For the time being, all SQA annual meeting library presentations through 2018 will be open to everyone, including non-members, to provide educational opportunities for those who missed the annual meeting. An email will be coming out shortly with instructions about how to access these recordings. Don't forget that SQA has a vast library of recorded webinar presentations on a variety of topics. These recordings are complimentary for members and are a great option for earning RQAP units. Be sure to continue visiting the SQA website to learn more about upcoming live webinar presentations. There's several presentations that are planned uh, to be deployed and presented over the next few months. SQA will soon announce another buy one, get one, or BOGO promotion on SQA's online courses, including a short course that is an introduction to electronic records and electronic signatures and more related to 21 CFR Part 11. We're also working hard to expand our regularly scheduled meeting in Raleigh. This fall quality college in September is going to become more like a small version of what we would have had at the Gaylord National Harbor. We're planning hard, uh, working with the program committee and educational committee to provide our members two days of three concurrent tracks in addition to the quality college that was already being planned. We definitely recognize the value of networking and the face-to-face -face interactions and hope this expanded meeting will help the SQA community, community rebound after the cancellation of our meeting that should have been this week. That said, you don't need to meet in person to network. You should have all seen in your email today, the SQA Connect app is available now to make communicating with colleagues easier than ever. If you haven't taken advantage of this resource yet, now's the perfect time. SQA will continue to explore additional ways to support our members and the 
community of QA professionals during this time. If you've got a suggestion about additional ways for SQA to connect, provide guidance and educational opportunities, please share them. We're all in this together. And we hope you're all staying healthy, safe, and sane during this very difficult time. Thank you.